Hey, uh, you're up next on guard, but uh, real quick, might want to reapply your camo on your face to kind of smudge it off while you're taking a nap. All right, you're up in five. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so I really didn't want to make a video today, but I figured, fuck it, I'm already out here. So, uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about camouflage, uh, different, like, camo patterns, uh, what I think about different camo patterns, and also uh, maybe some more unconventional means of camouflaging yourself and your equipment. So stay tuned. Oh, just you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this video was sponsored by the ATF. Um, yeah, you heard that right. So if you use discount code, I'm not a fed, uh, in your checkout box, then uh, you can get a free arm brace straight from the ATF and a felony. <laughs> hey, is that legal? Those level four plates? Yeah, we need to go. Okay. I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Now, you may be wondering to yourself, hey, you, dumbass, you're, you're talking about camo. You're making a video about camouflage and you're not even wearing a full fucking camo pattern. Well, that, I say, fuck off. Uh, but also, I want to say, it all depends on your surroundings and your Met TC. What is Met TC? Right here. Now, again, there's a lot of considerations uh, whenever... You're talking about camo patterns, right? Uh, you got to think about what time of day it is. What kind of foliage is around? What kind of foliage, it, like, does the foliage change a lot between your current location and wherever you're going? Uh, are you, like, are you... Today, Junior! <laughs> like, are you wearing the same camo pattern that your enemy is wearing? Uh, stuff like that, you know? And also availability. Availability is a big thing. Uh, a lot of these patterns can be more expensive than others. But, uh, you know, you can always find knockoff shit on Amazon. Am I right? <clears throat> but so the first thing that I want to talk about is clothing. Right? Clothing is probably the easiest way to begin your base level of camouflaging yourself. And something to consider is, look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just... Coyote, FDE, whatever you want to call it, stuff, uh, khaki pants, and a face mask, and sunglasses, and a hat, uh, and more or less, I'm pretty well blended in with the different colors around this environment. Yeah, there are greens about, but uh, usually, I mean, most of it is rock and dead grass. Uh, you know, it's been relatively dry out here in Ah, gotcha. You thought I was going to say where I'm at, you freaking fed. Not today. Not today. Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs> Alright, so now we're going to do a segment, which is going to be like a fashion show runway kind of shit. Um, basically, I brought out a bunch of different camos that I think work great, and I'm going to demonstrate them to you guys. Uh, some of them might work better than others in different environments, obviously. That's why they make different kinds of camos, but uh, I'm going to go on ahead and put them on and do a little walk so that way you guys can see their effectiveness, at least in this specific spot. And if they don't work for me in this spot, they're probably going to work good for you if you're in a place that's a lot greener or a lot browner or whatever.
Well, uh, do with that information what you will. <laughs> um, but now that that's done, uh, let's get into something that I really think you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, and could probably really help you in whatever kind of Minuteman role you ever want to play. Another thing to talk about is not just your clothing on your body, but also your, uh, like the skin that's shown, right? You want to be able to camo up your face, even your ears and stuff like that, anything that's going to be exposed, as well as your hands. My favorite way of concealing or camoing up my face is simply this. Uh, your human eye is meant to look for other human faces, right? And so you might not be able to see their whole body, but if you can get a glimpse of their face, you can see that person. I like to wear sunglasses to make to block out my eyes so that way you cannot see the whites of my eyes. And I also like to wear a bandana or a neck gaiter to cover up my facial features. Uh, I left my boonie at home, but usually, like typically if I was actually going to be doing this, uh, actually going out and patrolling or something like that, I'd be wearing a boonie instead to break up the silhouette of my head. But yeah, things to consider. Now, another thing to consider is breaking up the actual outline of your body shape, right? Like, yes, that's what camo is intended to do. But in some cases, even if, like, if you're silhouetted up against something that's lighter than what your camo is, even if it's a good camo for your area, you're still going to stick out. Which is why I'm going to talk about this. This is the poor man's ghillie suit. One last quick thing about camouflaging yourself. Um... If you really are out there doing goon shit with the boys, um, face paint might not be the best option for you. Why? Because let's say you do goon shit with the boys, and then you get in trouble for doing goon shit with the boys, with whatever enemy you're facing. You want to blend back into society, well, now you got to wash off all that face paint. And then you look suspicious if you have a little bit of black that you miss behind the ears, right? Well... You wear a bandana or a neck gaiter like this, you can just pull it off, toss it, and you're good. You don't have to, like, wipe anything off. Alrighty. Cringy transition coming in three, two, one. Alright. Probably going to be cringe. Anyway. So this is the poor man's ghillie seat. This is a mossy oak uh, camo net that you're supposed to put over like a uh, ground blind or something like that. Except I cut a hole out up at the top to allow me to put my head through it. And then I just wear it like a poncho. And uh, I prefer to wear my kit over top of it. Uh, you know, it's up to you, use your preference. But it's a whole lot easier to grab mags whenever they're on top than having to flip this over. But... Um, I cut it down the side so that way it's open for my handgun and I can still get to my knife on this side or anything that I need to get on my belt line um, relatively easily but yeah this is something that you guys can consider making and buying for yourself um, it is very inexpensive I think in total the camo net itself was less than 20 bucks um, and it does look good. It might not be perfect for this area, but it does break up uh, a lot of your personal silhouette with the camo net and the little fake leaves hanging off of it. So I'm going to go up and over there and give you guys a demonstration of how it looks in the wild.
Now, this might not be the best option out there. Uh, it is a very affordable option, and it does do pretty decent at breaking up the silhouette of a person. <clears throat> I bought this, not for this actually, I bought this for ground hunting uh, with a bow. Uh, or with a crossbow, my bad. But um, it does do pretty good, um, especially in more wooded areas like this. However, currently I don't have access to a more wooded area. This is the best I got. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend if you're trying to get into this Minuteman, like, you know, or the other M word type stuff. Uh, a ghillie suit, like an actual ghillie suit, or a ghillie, uh, whatever it's called, like a ghillie base that just goes over your head, not like the pants in the full, like, moss get-up. That would be a very good option. Uh, pretty good investment. So now that we've talked about camouflaging yourself um, and your person, now let's talk about camouflaging your equipment. As you can see right here, uh, I have a rifle, no duh, <laughs> and it's not completely camouflaged as good as it could be, right? So what we have here is FDE furniture, which is a good start, um, but honestly, you should be camouflaging your entire rifle. This, adding FDE furniture should just be a basis. Or OD green furniture or anything that's not black and shiny should just be a base, right? And a lot of this stuff is the stuff that you're going to have covered up with your own hands. So the fact that it's FDE doesn't really fucking matter. Um, painting your rifle isn't a big uh, or as big of one that I want to hit on as other people do. But the biggest thing, at least for me, and yes, I'm at fault because I don't have it. Also, there's nobody behind the camera. Rifle's unsafe, whatever, but is camouflaging your reflective surfaces on your weapon. That means camouflaging your light. Um, this can be achieved just with something simple as like a piece of tape, or there are companies that make actual caps that go over top. Um, Risky Krisky talks about those. But another thing is, and also what I like to do is unless if I know that I'm going to be going into a place that's dark where I will need this light, um, I keep a piece of tape separating the end cap or one of the positive connections to the rest of the batteries so that way I don't accidentally ND my light. Because um, NDing your light during the day Yes, it might not be uh, as big of a deal as if you did it at night, but a thousand lumens is still pretty visible during the day whenever you shine it, right? Um, another thing is taking anything like, if you can see the brand of my weapon scope or uh, red dot is visible. I'm probably just coloring that in with a Sharpie and also removing any stickers or anything like that from your weapon as well. I'm at fault because I did not do this prior to. Uh, this weapon isn't painted yet, but, you know, I'm a poor man and I'm busy too. So, it is what it is, but if shit popped off right now, you bet your ass I'm going down to the dollar store and get me some brown and green spray paint and going to town on this bad boy. One last thing to touch on before I go. Um, so, a lot of people will say, that you should match your top and your bottom camo. Fine, go ahead if the mission calls for it. A lot of times though, you can find yourself patrolling an area where let's say it's fall and the leaves have fallen, but there's still a little bit of green uh, like on the pines and not all the leaves have fallen. Wearing a pair of khaki pants with your multicam top is not gonna hurt. And honestly, those multicam pants will stick out more on that, uh, on all those dead leaves than like a pair of khaki pants would or coyote brown pants would. So just something to consider. Um, I guess that concludes the video and uh, 
yeah this is there in the trees and i'm out of here see ya